with a red wine poaching for the sickle pears, and then the Bartlett pear in the middle is a white wine, and with a red wine raspberry sauce, could also be served on chocolate. We introduced to people who have never seen it before, a grilled Caesar salad with romaine is grilled, and you have a long crouton instead of the little ones, a long crouton with, from a semolina bread that's also grilled, with shavings of Parmesan and Reggio, and our homemade Caesar salad dressing. We introduced today our crab soup, which is a big uh, soup and a popular soup with a little bit of a kick in um, in our restaurant and many weddings have asked us to make the crab soup. We also introduced to the new brides our homemade bread, which we have here. Which we have a honey white as well as a basil bread that we introduced. Which is also a rarity in catering situations to have homemade bread. We discussed with the people and introduced our beef bourguignon, which is a medium price dish, and it is uh, a slow braised cooked beef for six hours, which brings out the flavor of the beef, and it's served with a burgundy beef sauce, which makes it much more elegant than your average medium priced dish. This is the very beef bourguignon plated in an elegant fashion. Over here is a salmon and croute, which is also plated in a nice fashion with uh, buttered Brussels sprouts and our potatoes, which are whipped and put back into the potato for a nice serving and display for a nice plate. Over here we have our chicken, portobello mushroom, sun-dried tomatoes, cooked in a dressing of sherry. Nice, nice. Very, very, very popular dish for most weddings. Up here is your higher-end Chateau Bri um, Filet Mignon. We showed this as a first and second of a first and second protein dish if people are having a sit-down dinner. This is an eight-ounce Filet Mignon. You obviously would not get three or four proteins when you have an eight-ounce Filet Mignon. But we have offered to show them that you can have a Filet Mignon in several different ways as a Chateau Briand, also as encoded, and it would still be less than half the price of what a full eight ounce Filet Mignon would be. So it's basically, we're trying to show the bride that she can have a lovely, elegant meal without breaking the bank. What we showed over here would be our Panna Cotta desserts. This is a nice, beautiful Italian cream dessert bottom with a fruit compote and a homemade whipped cream on top. It's often served in a wine glass as a dessert. Also can be served with a chocolate and espresso and a biscotti on it as a after dinner dessert. And it is a lovely dish. We can layer it and make it a parfait. Over here are our biscotti, whatever's left of them. <laughs> We have seven different flavors of biscotti and we serve them out for the barista bars, for the Viennese tables, something to add to the uh, cakes, that they, the, the wedding cakes. So they have a wedding cake and they might have biscotti around it or they might have uh, chocolate squares or cream puffs. It's just a little added thing. Or you can have it as a barista bar, which is a coffee bar with espresso and lattes and cappuccinos as well as the biscotti and the biscuits and the Italian cookies. But here we showed a chocolate fountain. Chocolate fountain can be done in many ways. You can dip cookies, you can dip fruits, any kind of fruit can be dipped in a chocolate fountain. Melons, grapes, as well as strawberries and bananas. Pineapples, another good dipping for a chocolate fountain. Uh, people have dipped ice cream sandwiches in chocolate fountains and brownies and cookies and crackers and potato chips, as well as pretzels. I've seen Twizzlers dipped in the chocolate fountain, so it's a very popular thing. Chocolate fountain is also used for a Sunday bar, where you have a setup of cookies, you have a setup of um, fruit, and then you have your, your chocolate fountain at the end. You start with your ice cream, put your cookies, your fruit on top, and your whipped cream, and then you pour the hot chocolate over the top, and that's an ice cream bar that's very popular as well. Also, we have here today is we are featuring the Big Creek Winery Wines. They will, if you go to the Big Creek, give you a free tasting of their wines. And at the same time, they will pair them up with your menu for your wedding. And if you let them know that I have sent you, they will take care of you.
the website? Also. website? Our website is www.tnzlookingglass.com and we are in partnership as a wedding planner with JT Wedding plan JT Weddings Expo. Expo. <laughs> She's got four websites, but that's one of the many, and I'm sure when you go to her, you'll get hers. <laughs> but uh, we do a lot of wedding planning through her.